it in the air. Lots of potentially toxic chemicals that are swirling around and like you mentioned could be seen for miles. Crews are still here, still an active scene. They actually had to go through a process where they had to have their boots rinsed off by other firefighters just because there might have been toxic materials in some of that wastewater runoff, that water runoff that you see from those hoses down there in the back. Uh, so they're kind of concerned about what was in and what was burned and then what ultimately ended up in that water. But you can see firefighters are still here. Take a look at some video from Sky Fox overhead. Look at this thing. This smoke could be seen from all over the valley as these heavy flames just consumed basically everything in a storage area that's next to a warehouse that both makes and stores props for movies and TV sets. So this started just before 4 p.m. right near Van Owen Street and Vineland Avenue. We're about a mile away from Hollywood Burbank Airport. We're also right near the railroad tracks. So the area that burned is between is sort of between the tracks and where we're standing now, which is on the other end of Van Noen. But fire officials say that large fiberglass props sent that sick black smoke billowing into the air. Listen here. Whenever we have uh, a large plume of smoke like that, we always tell people to stay indoors, stay out of the smoke. If you can smell it, then you probably need to be in an area where you can't. But there is a massive amount of smoke that's out there. So even while we were, our firefighters who were surrounding this, we were on air, we were, we were breathing with our uh, self-contained breathing apparatus to protect our firefighters. So we tell people to stay away, stay indoors. There's gonna be residual smoke. You're gonna continue to smell it in the area for probably several hours until there's a complete knockdown. Yeah, and again, we are certainly smelling it here. You can see some of the aftermath here from this ground video. Over 50 firefighters were able to knock down those flames, thankfully in less than an hour, and they were able to prevent it from spreading to the nearby commercial buildings in that area. Now, Metro League tracks, which again are right behind this, those were closed between Van Nuys and Burbank Airport South. That was just for a time. Those have since reopened, though, now. Now, hazmat teams are here on the scene, and again, firefighters plan to remain here for several hours to put out any potential hot spots. So again, if you see smoke that's rising from this area, just know that they are here, they're working on it, and they are putting out those hot spots. Uh, the surrounding neighborhood, thankfully, did not have to be evacuated because of this, and it was all contained to that storage yard where those movie and TV props are made and stored. So